Good morning, everybody. My name is Sarah Carlisle. I have a shop here in Sheridan, Indiana, north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And today's segment is Heise New Editions. So what we do is every month or every couple months, we go out, we buy glass, or we get collections, and then I put it on a table, and we have a new edition sale. So if you're ready, today my email is sajacarl26 at gmail.com. So if you see anything you're interested in, you can email me. I can give you my phone number. We can do multiple boxes over the course of a couple weeks and then ship it out to you when you're ready. So if you're ready, let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of New Items for the Shop. We go out looking for Heisey every month. We bring back those pieces and those better pieces we hold back for this video and then we put them in the shop what doesn't sell. So you're gonna have the first opportunity to buy these pieces all fresh to the market. Gonna give you a quick little preview of what's available this morning. We've got some pretty nice pieces this morning. You just don't see it every flea market that you go to. If you see anything at all you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. You can call me or you can call Sarah, either one of us. So we're gonna get started right here. What's the first item we have this morning, Sarah? First item today is a pair of Sahara Revere three light candle holders. Cascade, not Cascade. Revere. Thank you. First item right out of the box. $475. All right. Mm, that's, this is a Yeoman Ashtray. It has a little bit of wear to it and has an Irish setter etched on the bottom of it. $25. Flamingo. Zircon Saturn Optic Bowl or Vase. Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl. Has a ground bottom marked on the bottom. I believe this is in the Coronor line when it has that press one with the mark. $250. All right. Here we have a nice piece. It's a Greek key straw jar. The bottom of this is very common. I mean very common. You see them all the time. This one's in good shape. Now, this is the lid. I want to watch, show them how that lid fits on there. Bring it up. It, the lid actually fits over the outside of it. That's the original lid, folks. And the price on it is $1,650. All the money's in the lid. Where'd you go, Sarah? All right, next item. What is it? Vaseline wing scroll toothpick holder. And it's $2,750. How much? $2,750. That's, that's a nice round number, and that's a nice rare piece. Another piece of Vaseline. It's the narrow flute oval tray or plate. It is about seven, six and three fourths inches long, $125. Well, here's another nice piece. Hey, we got some pretty nice pieces this morning, Sarah, if I say so myself. Anyway, it is a cathedral vase, flared, flamingo. The color looks a little bit dark on my video when I'm taking it, but it's really a light pink color. And it's only $750. That's one of the harder to find vases if you're looking for the cathedrals. Jamestown mug with a Sahara handle, $225. Has a ground top on, that's the way they came. You don't have to pick it up, what is it? Well, it's a large pitcher. It's a, it is, it's a very large pitcher. Pattern. Hairpin. Hairpin. Hairpin pitcher. This is to that pitcher and bowl set. This one is, I call it near mint condition, has a few little mold marks in it. Great handle on it and it's only $850. If you have the bowl, let me know, I'll buy it off of you. Or you can buy the pitcher. Next we have a Flamingo Old Sandwich Oval Floral Bowl. Good condition and it's $95. Again, the color is nice pink, but for some reason on Sarah's phone I'm using it, it makes it look dark. Ooh, what we got here? Take a stab at it, Sarah. Optic tooth. Optic tooth, yes. But flamingo. this is flamingo. Not the normal optic tooth vase you see. This is that funny looking one. And they did make a water lamp out of this too. If you want to see a picture of that, just give me a call sometime. I'll get you a picture of it. Price. $325. Oh, price. It's cheap at any price. Revere Oval. I think this is a preserve. Could be called a nut. They made these in at least two different sizes. Of course, it's in Canary. $165. King Arthur Cigarette Ashtray and Holder with a nice cutting on it. The bottom's cut with it the same as the top. And it's $175. And it's marked in that little construction. Uh-oh, I forgot to look up the name of this vase, Sarah. Do you remember? Is it a Maryland? May be a Maryland vase, may not be a Maryland vase. Anyway, this is a hard to find little vase. Moon gleam foot, diamond optic body. See how tall it is, will you? I forgot to measure it. About 10 inches tall. If I, if I remember correct, they only made this in one size. 
And hey, look at the price on it, folks. It's only $375. Sahara Crocus Single Candle Holder, two light, $750. Another little hard to find piece. Next, we have three old sandwich cruets. First one is in Moon Gleam, clean, good condition, and it's $225. The Flamingo is $225, and the Sahara one is $75. All clean on the inside. Waverly Seahorse Handle Candy Jar, and this is in Fred Harvey Amber. Don't be fooled for the ones in Sunshine Yellow. The ones in Sunshine Yellow, they look like that Crocus Candle Holder. They're actually yellow. This is actually amber. $450. Go to the other end. What we got? Fancy Loop Cracker Jar. Mm -mm. Guess again. Potpourri. Potpourri jar. It's, it's, ground in, it's ground in, so it keeps the potpourri. You can see it's got a little bit of damage right there, and I found at least one little chip on the pattern someplace. Hey, this is a tough jar to find. Look in Vogel book number four, and you'll see they made this in two styles. They made it in this style, and they made one that's a little bit bigger or squattier. Price on it, Sarah? $125. Only $125. My turn? Mm -hmm. New Era. Give me task cup. Vanity Fair etching or sandblast. I'm not sure what it is on there. Anyway, we only have one available, $30. We have a five block with a center vase. It does have a mold mark on one right there on this one. A little bit of mold imperfection on the top of the socket. It's not damage, just mold. $375. We have a pair of three light candle or lariat candle holders. For the pair, it's $425. And look at the bottom. I think these have been, they've been full, full ground and polished on the bottom. Plantation ladle or spoon, $45. You can see the plantation patter, pattern on the handle. Shot glass, Barcelona cut. Don't know what blank it is. It's got a little bit of roughness inside the top of it. You see it right there. And it's $25. Never seen that one before. Seen this one lots of times. It's a national little shot glass, moon glow cutting, $15. And here's a shot glass. I don't know the number of it, but it's got number 33 tatting decoration on it. It is marked on the bottom, $30. I think we have a couple of those available. What's the name of this set, Sarah? Normandy Etch. Normandy Etch. Thank you very much. It's $35. Get a load of these. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Jamestown Wines. We have six of them available. Beautiful cutting on them. $45 a piece. Cathedral vase in crystal. And the cutting's called, remember that? I think it's about the only piece set cutting. Uh, it's not an original manufacturer's name, but the collectors call it fan and that new encyclopedia with the cuttings in it. That's what they refer to it on. And it's called fan. $85. Next, we have three pieces of Spanish stem. We have a goblet, and they all have Riviere cutting on it. What's that mean, Sarah? River in French. River in French. Isn't that something? And we have two goblets. They're $35 a piece. I believe we have six iced teas with the Riviere cutting on it as well, and they are $25 each. A river in France. Never knew that. And then cocktails, we have three of these available and they're $20 each. All right, folks. This first one I've seen in years and years. It is a wing scroll ring tree in crystal. Normally you see these in custard glass, but here's one in crystal and it's got gold on it. Gold's got a little bit of wear, but hey, that gives it a lot of character, $1,250. Probably won't see another one of those for several years pair of Saturn two light candle blocks, candle holders. One looks like it has a, re a good repair on the bottom. Not sure if that's factory or someone did it. The pair is only $125. And, and just for your information, if something got broken over at the factory or something got damaged, they never threw it away. They sent it to the repair shop. Here, Puritan cigarette box. Look at this, folks. Cut on top, cut inside the bottom, cut all over. Beautiful, beautiful cutting on this. The lid, everything's in great shape on it. Really nice cutting, all polished. Probably uh, acid polish, all cut to clear, and it's $375. We have another one. 
just like it, except they didn't cut the inside bottom. It has a different cutting on it. Show that lid, Sarah. Very, very nice cutting on there, just not as elaborate as the other one, and it's only $150. Plantation cigarette holder box. Box. $275. This has an original Heisey sticker on it. Well, it's got a Heisey sticker. We don't know if it's original. I, I've been I've been known to put stickers on things before. Number 10, Carter Inkwell. On this, all the all the money's in the lid, folks. And it's $475. Rare piece. Flamingo pleat and panel cruet, $35. Clean on the inside. Recessed panel, candy jar, moon gleam. They made this in only two colors that I'm aware of. They made it in moon gleam and made it in canary. Both of them are very difficult to find. And this one is how much, Sarah? $1,500. $1,500. Opal or milk glass beaded swag cruet. Nice stopper. Has a nice decoration. Gold is good. And it's $65. Original stopper. Let's do that uh, me, you, and us set. You'll see it coming in backwards, but you have a rooster. One's etched you, one's etched me, and then the shaker, shaker says us on all three pieces. 165? 165 for the set. Whirlpool covered butter. The bottom is marked with the diamond H, and it is $75. Got to tape that on, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Have some shot glasses. On Sarah's right hand is a coronation shot glass. That's going to be inexpensive. It's twelve dollars. Then you've got a colony one here. I don't know what it is. It has these flutes around the bottom. I know it's a good one though. What's the price? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Old sandwich shot. Those are always popular. Ten dollars. Then last but not least, we have a Victorian shot glass. Ten dollars. And they did make those Victorian shot glasses in color. If you see those, you want to grab onto them. Iced tea spoon. Thirty-five dollars. And it's marked someplace. Very faint, or right there at the back. Right there. Remember the pattern? Ribbon candy. candy. <laughs> <laughs> Ribbon candy crit. Perfectly clean on the inside. Original stopper. Fits like a glove. Very, very difficult crit to find. $350. Here's another hard piece to find in crystal. It's an Ipswich perfume with the long dripper. Clean on the inside, and it's $650. Now, let's get a good look at that stopper. That's a very unique stopper. This is the only thing that goes in. I'll turn it sideways so you can see how thin it is. See, it's just a thin stopper. Breaks real easy. Usually, they don't have the stopper. Yeoman perfume with the long dripper. Has a nice cutting on the outside. Clean on the inside, and it's $65. I have three cruets. We have an Empress Sahara. And the price on that $65. And we have a flamingo, all flamingo, both clean on the inside. And we have a missing crew there. Hey, we've got a moon gleam, moon crystal body, and it has a moon gleam foot, but we've got it on the machine cleaning right now. And it wasn't uh, done, so we left it on the machine. But we can get you a picture of that if you want to see it after it's clean. $75. For $75. A knife rest. It's marked twice, good condition, and it's $35. Yeah, the key to this is good condition. Usually, uh, these are all nicked up, and we have to put them on Half Price Thursday. Opal Wing Scroll Puff Box. No, or... not Wing Scroll. It's Novelty Wear. It's marked. All these novelty pieces have a diamond H and a number with them. They're not Wing Scroll. They're just novelty. $125. $125. that it? Oh, yeah. One more set. We have a Gallagher jug with Diana etching on it. And we have two, four. We have six wines. What's the price on the jug, sir? $125. And the wines are $15 a piece. You can take one, two, or you can take all six of them. We really don't care. Anyway, that concludes our video for this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email, either Sarah or me this time. And we hope to see you this coming Thursday for another edition of Half Price Thursday. It'll start 8 o'clock in the morning on Eastern Time. This table will be full of items, and everything will be sold for just one half the price is marked on it. Hope you're having a great summer, and see you later. Thank you very much, and goodbye.